I don't understand why black women have babies that they just don't want. Um, statistically, black women are eliminating their children at a very high rate. It's sad. They have all these baby daddies and multiple men having children by all these men instead of building a family structure. It's sad the way these, uh, you know, the way these kids suffer. Let's listen to the news story. I'll come back with my commentary. Details about this mother who's been arrested again in connection to the death of her five month old baby. The Baton Rouge Police Department has now charged her with first degree murder. Shailen Ewing was originally arrested on a charge of second degree cruelty to her five month old after doctors say the baby was hospitalized showing signs of shaken baby syndrome. Three days later, that child died and the autopsy showed that it was from blunt force trauma. Baton Rouge officers arrested and booked Ewing on a murder charge while they investigate the situation. Now, as you just heard right there, she got locked up um, three days before she got arrested. Okay, this is crazy. And it was, they showed signs of the, that she was trying to shake the baby to death. All right. This is the first time. Then three days later, I guess to shake it didn't work. It died from blunt force trauma. In other words, she beat it to death. All right, five month year old kid. See, they usually have children that they don't want because the kids are just a check. See what I'm saying? The kid is just a check. And um, when they not, if they don't trap that man, or if that check ain't coming right, or if they're not happy with it, they usually eliminate the child. Now, the excuses they'll come on my channel because, you know, black women, they never want to be held accountable for, accountable for anything. They're always right, they're never wrong. They're going to hop on my channel and say white women do it too. Well, we're not talking about white women and we don't live in a white community. So don't try to deflect. We're talking about the black community, the people you live around every day. We're talking about your families, your homes. We're talking about your neighborhood where they are eliminating their, their kids, man. It's sad. They have babies by low level men. Black women have babies and I'm going to keep repeating this every time I do these videos. They have babies by the low level, 14 to 15 percent of men in the black community. All the low level men have all the babies in the black community. They're, they are picking these men to have children by. OK, and when they do get a good man, they do got a good baby father. They put him through hell. OK, this is just what's going on in our community. This woman here should never see the light of day. Not only did she get arrested twice for committing a crime against her child, she also ended her own child's life. Just being just so selfish, narcissistic, cold blooded, don't care about nobody but themselves. But this is the majority of black women in the new in this new age. This is the majority of them are like this. Cold hearted. They don't care about nobody but themselves. They just want to get their way. They don't care about building no family. They just want some dangling. That's it. They don't care about how the child suffers. Huh? They don't care about finding the right type of man to build a life. We don't care about any of that. They just want their way. And they wonder why the curses are in the black community. They wonder why the curses are in the black family. Why the black family is about to be extinct. You see high quality black men are dating out or they're dating women who are more feminine. OK, if you see a high quality man, if he is with a black woman, she's going to be very feminine, which is that's a small number now because a lot of our women are masculine. We have the most masculine women on earth. But when a, you see a high quality man, when you see him, a man of quality and some substance, if he's marrying, he's marrying a feminine woman, okay? Or a woman of another culture. A black, if he marries a black woman, she gotta be feminine. Or women of other cultures. Like I said, there's only a handful of feminine black women who really give a damn. It really is. This kid is in a better place. This violent, um, cold-hearted, narcissistic, evil, wicked mother with this demonic spirit, these demonic spirits in the black community, the spirits of murder and prostitution and drugs is sad. These these are just, just demonic strongholds on our society, man. And they get mad at me because I speak the truth about this society, what's going on in our society and in our world. And everybody's just scared, afraid to call out the women in our community. Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to do it, man. It's, it's sad. And, and to, if you ask me, I don't believe there's any help for the black community. There isn't any. 
You can't help people that don't want to help. You can't help people that love destruction. You can't help people that love evil, love wickedness, love to man be manipulative and love to, you know, try to use each other and all this crazy stuff. They don't want to build with each other. They don't want to grow. They don't want to love each other. Sad. It really is. And then you got these wicked, evil women. All they care about is themselves and nobody else. They pick beta males because they like to be in control. They like to be manipulative. And then they have what? Children they don't want. Because the man usually ends up leaving. I'm out of here. I tell you, boy, I could do these stories every day, all day if I had time. But I don't have time for that. But I'll be dropping a lot of these these uh, news stories. Uh, get back to doing a lot of more news stories, man. For real. I'm out of here.